A few days ago, someone asked me, hey Mark, how do you create a blog? So I thought, sounds like a good topic for a video. Before I go into what technology or what platform I would recommend, let's first make sure we're all on the same page on what exactly a blog is. A blog is basically a website. Well, then you might ask, what's the difference between a blog and a website? Actually, not a whole lot. It mainly boils down to the nature of your content and how it's structured. For example, when you publish content on a blog, it's called a blog post. And blog posts are published in chronological order with a time and date stamp like journal entries in a diary. When you publish content on a traditional website, it's called a page. And pages are not presented sequentially like they are on a blog. Pages are just standalone static pieces of content without any time or date stamp. Pages typically provide core information about your business, like your about page or your contact us page or your privacy policy page. Another difference is blog posts allow for interactivity with readers via comments, whereas standard web pages normally do not have a commenting section. Another difference is Blog posts are usually less formal and have a more casual and conversational tone. Web pages, on the other hand, are usually a little more formal because they often contain just straight factual information. Structurally, a blog can be part of a traditional website or a blog can be a standalone entity all by itself. For example, with my site, markbrinker.com, I use this structure. I have standard web pages like a home page, about page, contact us page, services page, but I also have a blog as part part of my overall website, with dozens of blog posts on all kinds of topics relating to website design, digital marketing, etc. So the next question is, how do you actually create a blog so you have a place to publish blog posts and share your content with the world? There are tons of different platforms for creating a blog, but if it were me, I would narrow it down to the following three options. Option number one, Wix or Squarespace. If you want to get up and running quickly with a respectable looking blog and or website, Wix or Squarespace would be good choices. The upside is they offer a wide selection of pre-made templates so you do not have to be a professional web designer and they offer a user-friendly drag and drop editor so no coding is necessary which is great for beginners or do-it-yourselfers. On the downside, you have limited customization because you're building your blog on their proprietary platform. Also, if you want to transfer your blog somewhere else at some point in the future because maybe you feel you've outgrown their platform, there's no magic magic button you can press to export or transfer your site to a new platform. You basically have to rebuild your blog from scratch, which could take a lot of work. Blogging platform option number two would be to use medium.com or blogger.com. If you just want to write and share your content with the world and you're fine with just a simple minimalistic design, medium or blogger would be good options. On the upside, they're simple and easy to use. No setup is required. With medium, you have a built-in audience, which could potentially increase the visibility of your blog post, and with Blogger, it's owned by Google, so it's reliable, just like Gmail, and it's completely free. On the downside, they have very limited customization, so the appearance of your blog post will look very much like everyone else's on these platforms. Also, they both have limited monetization options. Medium has a program where you can earn money based on engagement with Medium's paying members, and Blogger allows monetization through Google AdSense. You probably won't get rich using Blogger or Medium, but they could be good choices if you're only looking to build your online presence or enhance your writing portfolio. The third and final blogging platform I would recommend is a self-hosted WordPress website. Me personally, this is the option I have used since the mid-2000s. The main reason is freedom. I have the freedom to design and customize my website and blog however I want. I can implement any marketing or monetization strategy without any platform restrictions. If I ever want to move my website and blog to a different web host, or even if I want to sell my website, and blog. I can do that without too much difficulty because I built everything from the ground up on my own plot of land, so to speak, rather than spending years building everything on someone else's property and platform. I also like WordPress because there's power in numbers. WordPress is currently used by an estimated 800 million websites and blogs, which is about 43% of all websites on planet Earth. The closest competitor is Shopify at about 3.9%. That means there's a huge WordPress ecosystem 
ecosystem in place containing tons of themes and tens of thousands of plugins, allowing you to customize your site any way you want. If you ever get stuck, there are plenty of experienced WordPress experts available for hire. On the downside, you will have to host and maintain your website and or blog on your own or hire someone to do it for you. There's also a bit of a learning curve. Although WordPress is fairly user friendly, it can be overwhelming for beginners or people that are not super tech savvy. The mechanics of setting up a self-hosted WordPress site and or blog are as follows. First, you'll need a domain name. My recommended domain registrar is namecheap.com. Next, you're going to need a place to host your website or blog. I've been using HostGator since 2010 and they've been great. For your blogging platform, you'll need WordPress, obviously, which is free open source software. WordPress by itself, though, is just a content management system. To make WordPress look like a website or blog, you're going to need a theme. And there are lots of WordPress themes available, both free and paid. Then to format and edit your blog post, you'll need a page editor or page builder. WordPress comes with a free built-in page editor, which will get the job done, but it's pretty basic. If you want something with more bells and whistles so you can create more modern and sophisticated pages, you're going to need a page builder. I use a page builder called Thrive Architect from a company called Thrive Themes. I've been using their stuff since 2015, and they're a great company with great products. The last thing we'll cover today is probably the most common question I've been asked for years, and that is, Mark, how do you get traffic to your website or blog? To answer that question, I recently created a free mini course that walks you through step-by-step -step the exact blueprint I use. If you're interested, there's a link to this free mini course in the description below. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. My name is Mark Brinker. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. That really helps out our channel. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.